Go ahead, sir. You can just give me a minute or so. Just a minute. Okay, thank you very much. Now looking at time, we are behind time. We are supposed to start from uh, the notes master. So looking at time, uh, maybe I'll just skip that part, but um, that is where we are supposed to start from to see where the topic is coming from. Maybe let me try if the network will allow me there we are um, uh, this is my browser so let's see where the our topic is coming uh, uh, from today today it seems we have uh, a little bit challenge of the network it's very slow opening up I, I hope uh, those who are there you saw how Mr. Katete was uh, doing to go on Not Master the first thing he printed on the search engine he printed Not Master then um, he clicked then uh, after that uh, if you have an account you need to log in so I'm just waiting for it to process the it is it has processed so now I'll click on login. That is our, our login. So again, you need to be patient with North Master. Everything what works is patient. So there are credentials there, the email, and then the password. And then I'm just waiting to f uh, for it to finish. So. The next is login. I've clicked on login. Using the credentials. Okay, there we are. These are the classes. Mr. Katete was talking about joining the classes. When you join the classes, you are going to have the classes on your dashboard like this. So in our case, we are doing mathematics, but um, as he was doing, you saw, uh, he told you to choose the subjects, but for this morning, we are looking at mathematics, grade 8 and grade 9. So I've clicked on this one, which we have uh, 547 members so far. Uh, maybe some of you, if you have joined, you are among this number. So again, I'm um, just waiting for it to process.
it is very slow Okay, we'll, we'll come back to this one. It seems it's not opening. Let's just go to the left. Okay, maybe it will open. Okay, there we are. That is mathematics, grade 8, 9, junior. So we will not uh, do a match on post. We will go straight to the notes. So I've clicked on notes. So again, I have to be patient. I'm not talking about the assignment, okay? It is opening. So these are the uh, topics that we have in grade uh, 8 and 9. Because this one uh, is was prepared basing on the syllabus. So for 8 and 9, normally we start with sets. Always it is sets, then followed by integers. But we are not doing all those things. Today we will do a topic which is... Uh <coughs> which is... Um, uh, this one which is menstruation so I'll click on menstruation before I can click on menstruation you will see this number here it shows that you have got seven subtopics which you will cover so according to the syllabus and according to the examination council of Zambia it means that under menstruation there are seven questions that you should be able to answer if you are able to study and use this notes master for you to revise it will be very easy and for you to face the exams it will be very easy because you will know that here there are seven uh, questions that can come i've clicked there you have got one question can come from the area the volume the density then uh, regular polygons and irregular uh, polygons but today we are going to look at irregular polygons and under i mean regular polygons under regular polygons we assume that we have done the first topic which is um, describe properties of interior and exterior angles of regular polygons so we'll move on to calculate interior and exterior angle of a regular polygon so this one this is the the one which will give us the topic for today now i've clicked already on calculate interior and exterior angle the lesson itself i'm just waiting for it to process so you just need to be patient enough okay let me do that so that i refresh it okay so i'm just waiting for it to open to the lesson for today okay okay there we are it is opening as you can see on top there it says calculate interior and exterior angles of a regular polygon so and these are the notes which you should be able to read on your own so there is introduction there is rationale then uh, there is uh, the the torch to show you what you are supposed to know about the regular polygons then there is an explanation there as you can see this is a regular polygon now this regular polygon you can see that the ones in red are interior angles and the ones in uh, green they are exterior angles that is what we can see all those explanation is there if you are there you can uh, read on your own i i know somewhere somewhere it does not process because of the network then there are examples as you can see there is an example there and it is a worked example then example two it is there then of course example three it is there and example four it is there then the rest are the explanations then this is what you should know about uh, the uh, regular polygons and polygons in general and then apart from that you have got the video you can watch it on your own to um, consolidate what you would have learned then at the end of the time uh, normally we have quizzes and then the references then here this copy 
when you click on it it will copy the notes for you if you want to print them out you will be able to copy then after copying uh, you can do the printing out it will save on the dashboard to ask you where you want to save so basically these are the things that we'll be looking under notes master so uh, we go now to the lesson for today okay so now i'm sharing the screen so this is the lesson for today now as i was explaining earlier on this lesson normally it comes in grade eight but because of the nature of the lesson most of the learners they do not understand they just come and understand in grade nine so at grade nine level normally we do the repeating of it so grade eight to nine mathematics so the topic is mensuration then uh, this is the presenter then from Lufanyama Boating Secondary School, Copper Belt Province, Muskitanoa, the presenter, then email address, then today's date, uh, the 12th January 2022. And the time we started the lesson, 8 to 9. So we'll run for the next 38 minutes to see where it will take us. Then the subtopic is describe properties of interior and exterior angle of a regular polygon and the specific outcome that we are looking at is calculate interior and exterior angles of a regular polygon so the introduction so basically we just calculate the interior angles and exterior angles of a regular polygon then what is a regular polygon maybe may i hear from you now at this stage what is a regular polygon what do you understand by regular polygon yes what do you understand by regular polygon any idea yes at least you can try what do you understand by regular polygon? Come on, let's move. What do you understand by regular polygon? Yes, yes, yes. You can try. I know you have some ideas. Just tell us the ideas. Okay, I've seen the hand from Rachel. Rachel, you can talk. Um, a regular polygon is a polygon that has equal sides. Okay, that has equal sides. Margaret, also I've seen the hand. Um, you can say regular, what you wanted to say. Regular polygon is called regular. It, it has equal, equal sides and angles. Okay, so at least all of you, you have spoken one common thing, uh, equal sides. So as we can see, a regular polygon has all sides equal and all angles equal. Thank you very much. Then we'll look at uh, that the interior angle and the exterior angle of um, of uh, a regular polygon normally are measured from the same line i'll show you the line where they are measured from uh, let me just do some bit of drawing here so what we are saying is that if this is a line if this is a line now we are going to have another line which will go there this one will be the interior angle and this one will be the exterior angle so that's why we are saying that they are measured from the same line you can measure this angle let's say if you measure this angle let's say if it gives you 120 degrees then also you can still measure this angle it will give you a 60 degrees because what we know that this is a straight line and a straight line the interior and 
exterior angles when you add them up you should get 180 degrees this is the essence which is here I hope we are getting something so that's why we have said that the interior angle and exterior angle are measured from the same line so they add up to 180 degrees okay then uh, we are saying that all exterior angles of a regular polygon add up to 360 degrees all the exterior angles of a regular polygon add up to 360 degrees then th if this is a regular polygon that we are using then uh, automatically we are saying that if you add the exterior angles which are in green you add f g h i j you are going to get 360 degrees that is what we have uh, established and that's what we have said then things to know what you should know is that when we go back to the diagram here we are saying that we have got a and f if you add a and f you are going to get 180 degrees which other pair can you add to get 180 degrees Let, let's be fast which other pair can we add to get 180 degrees i've told you one yes rachel b and g b and g yes excellent yes another person which other pair okay rachel you have one side you can have another person yes another person which other pair can you add which other pair only one person has seen the pairs which other pair can we move fast which other pair can you add to get 180 degrees h and okay, b Margaret. So, what did you um, say yes e Margaret and j. b and d e and j okay excellent so that is how we get uh, b those. and h okay thank you very much so you have understood they have seen so in the exam when you are given the exterior angle you should know that you can come up with the interior angle because a straight line is equal to 180 degrees so you just need to do the subtraction so the, this is what we are talking about and this is what we, we have mentioned so interior angle is equal to 180 degrees minus exterior angle or vice versa it will be exterior angle is equal to 180 degrees minus interior angle this is what we have established so for these questions in the exam you cannot go wrong then the sum of the exterior angles we said that it is uh, 360 degrees and then uh, the exterior angle is equal to 360 degrees over n so this formula it's a must you need to have it you need to know it then example one we are saying that what is the exterior angle of a regular what is the exterior angle of a regular hexagon what is the exterior angle for a regular hexagon now here before you can answer you need to understand what is a hexagon what is hexagon so who can describe the hexagon you need to know how you will be able to describe hexagon how many sides does hexagon has how many angles as hexagon has then once you know that you'll be able to answer so we'll start from there do we know the hexagon how many sides does hexagon has Changa. Six. Yes, Changa. Six. Eight. Thank you very much. So it means that you will be able to answer. Remember, I will take you back a bit. Let me just take you back a bit. Let me take you a bit back. We are talking about the exterior angle here. Now, remember where we have come from here. 
we said that exterior angle you if you look at the last bullet exterior angle is equal to 360 degrees over n 360 degrees over n so this is the formula that we are going to go with here so we have established that uh, the number of sides they are six and the angles are six so now what we are going to do is this we'll say that our n which is number of sides is equal to six that is what we have seen then the other thing that we we, we know is that exterior angle our abbreviated exterior angle is equal to 360 degrees over n now this n is the number of sides we are talking about the number of sides so once like the way we have established that there are six sides then it will be very easy for us to calculate so we need to replace this n by this six so it's going to be 360 degrees over in this case it will be six now if you divide that one you are going to get so therefore the exterior angle in this case it is 60 degrees so even in the exam if you are able to work it out like that we know that for you you can even score hundred percent okay so now let me, let's see what I did So I said solution, then from the solution, we said hexagon has six sides. Then we establish the formula that the exterior angle is equal to 360 degrees over N. So now hexagon has six sides and N is the number of sides. We replace N, then it will be 360 degrees over six. And if we divide it, we'll get that one. So this is what we have established. Now, I have the activity for you to see how much you have understood and how much you have you you followed from where we started from. The activity says that calculate the interior angle of a regular nonagon. Calculate the interior angle of a regular nonagon. So I'll give you two minutes. Yeah, I'll give you two minutes to work it out. This one, wherever you are. I hope you have got a pen and you have got a, a, a paper. Because this is a class. You need to have a pen, a paper, or a book in short. If you don't have a book, you just have to look for a book starting from today. So you have got two minutes. Let's uh, work it out, this one. Then uh, we'll we'll see the answers you can uh, write the answers on chat i hope you know how to use the chat all of you so just understand the question read the question understand it then answer it So we are remaining with a minute. If you have worked it out, you can uh, write your answer on chat. I'll be able to see the answers.
let's move with time we have some seconds okay now can we have the answers if you are uh, you are able to tell us you can just tell us the answer because i have not seen any answer on chat yes I'm waiting for the answers. Rachel? Um, sir, should I shout it out? Yeah, you can just tell us. I'm um, 20, 20 degrees. Rachel says 20 degrees. Okay, what others are, are saying? What others are they saying? Rachel says 20 degrees. We'll see as we work it out together. Rachel says 20 degrees. Others? Okay, we don't have much time. Let's move together then. First of all, before you can answer this question, you need to understand two or three things. Number one, do you know the interior angle? Do you know the interior angle? So now, according to what I gave you earlier on, we said that the interior angle, the interior angle is equal to what? Can someone tell us? Interior angle is equal to? Yes, I'm waiting. Interior angle is equal to? We said something when we are looking at the, those things which we said that you should know. Things you should know. We said something. Interior angle is equal to? We said interior angle is equal to? 180 degrees minus exterior angle that is what we said that was the first thing that we said then number two we need to understand this regular polygon the kind of a regular polygon it has got how many sides nonagon has got how many sides it has nine sides thank you very much so we are saying that this nonagon it has got nine sides then after we have known that it has got nine sides, are we able to compute using this number of sides and the formula for exterior angle? So we we'll say that exterior angle is equal to 360 degrees. over n then we are going to substitute the value of n by 9 so we we'll substitute the value of n by 9 and then we are going to have 360 degrees over 9 this is what you are going to have now, if you divide there 9 into 360 degrees, you are going to get what? 9 into 360 degrees. So we'll get Hello? 40. We'll get 40. Yes, thank you. We'll get 40. 
Now this 40 is called what? It is there. It is a what? It is the exterior, exterior angle. angle. This 40 is the exterior angle. But our question says calculate the interior angle. And we said that interior angle is equal to 180 degrees minus exterior angle. So where you have got exterior angle, you are going to replace it with the uh, 40 degrees. So therefore, it will be interior angle is equal to 180 degrees. minus 40 degrees and interior angle in this case is going to be 140 degrees is it okay with everyone yes sir Thank you very much. Or oh, is anyone having some questions, doubts, clarifications? No, it's okay, sir. It's okay. Thank you. So for me, I'm saying that these questions you will not get them wrong in the exams. Okay. So now look at this. So we are saying an onagon has got nine sides then exterior angle is equal to 360 degrees over n then you replace you are going to get 40 degrees at the exterior angle but this is not the answer so you say interior angle is equal to 180 degrees minus exterior angle then you say interior angle is equal to 180 degrees minus 40 degrees. Then you are going to say interior angle is equal to 140 degrees. So you would have answered and you get your two marks in the exams. And these questions like the way we are saying at first every year you will find them. If they are not there, then it will not be the exam. It's not easy said to have prepared the exam. So for you this year, whether you like it or not, you will find them. So now, let's look at uh, this simple exercise. Number one, it says a regular polygon has 20 sides. Find the sum of the interior angles. I've not talked about this today. We we'll assume that we had talked about this in the previous lesson. So you need to know the formula that you are supposed to use to calculate the sum of interior angles. So to make life easier, let me hear from you, especially those who have uh, studied or who have heard your friends, the great tens now. What is the formula for sum of interior angles? Me, I'll just give you the formula. I'll not work it out. I'll expect you to work it out. Yes, what's the formula for sum of interior angles? Yes. Let's move first. What's the formula? Okay, next question, I'll come back to that one. Then number two, it says find the number of sides in a regular polygon that has an interior angle of 180 degrees. Remember the things that we said that the things you should know. So here you have been given the interior angle. Then using the interior angle you should get the exterior angle and using the exterior angle you should be able to find the number of sides then the third one calculate the interior angle of a regular decagon 
so these three questions are what I want you to to do I'm looking at time I can spend some uh, three minutes then after that we can just conclude the program for today is it the lesson for today so before you can answer le let's see certain things number one how do you find the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon or polygon per se how do you find how do you find that At least one person can try or can give us the answer. How do you find that? Sum of interior angles of a regular polygon. Yes. Any idea? Okay, I'll give you the formula. I wanted you to give me the formula. So the formula for sum of interior angles will say S I A is equal to open brackets N minus two cross brackets multiply by 180 degrees this is the formula to use there okay then we come to number two on number two it says find the number of sides of a regular polygon that has an interior angle of 150 degrees so what are we going to do What are we going to do? Number one, you are going to apply one of the points which we said, things that you should know. You are going to find the exterior angle. Then once you find the exterior angle, you are going to use that exterior angle to find the number of sides. Remember, number of sides, we said that it is N so in this case it will be n is equal to 360 degrees divided by exterior angle which you are going to find exterior angle so that is the formula which will give you now but before that there is something that you do you get the exterior angle you have the interior angle and lastly calculate the interior angle of a regular decagon so again here you have the formula for exterior angle is it interior angle yes interior angle we know that interior angle is equal to 180 degrees minus the exterior angle so this is what we are going to to do but before that you need to work out this exterior angle remember oh calculate the yeah you are asked to find the interior angle so you need to work out how many sides does the decagon and then from the number of sides come up with the, this one the exterior angle then you subtract you get the answer yes any question before we say bye for today or has anyone worked out, work it out number one number one anyone who has worked it out number one since i've given you the formula number two anyone who has worked it out
Number three. Okay, but we need the answers. We need the answers. We want to call it a day. We need the answers. Yes, for number one. Anyone who has tried it, what will be the answer? Okay, all in all, you have got uh, sum of interior angles is equal to n minus 2, then multiplied by 180 degrees. With this 20 is the number of sides. So where you have got n, where you have got n, you are going to replace by 20, then you subtract 2 then multiply by 180 degrees so now if you subtract 20 minus 2 20 minus 2 what are you going to get 20 minus 2 what are you going to you are going to get 18 okay thank you now then you are going to say 18 times 180 18 times 180 and what are you going to get? Thank you very 3, much. So this is what you are going to do. Please, you need to master these things. In the exams, they come always. 3,240 degrees. Okay, that's what you are going to have. Then number two. We are saying find the number of sides in a regular polygon that has got the no, interior sir. angle of one. Yes? No, no, you shouldn't tell us everything. We'll answer we'll solve by ourselves. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm looking at time. First, uh, the, how, how many minutes did I give you? What's the book that is the work right now? Uh, yeah, yes, yes. We need to finish this. I'm looking at time because we need to wind up. Okay, teacher. Um, yes, sir. Let them copy in the in the next session. Okay. Uh, let them post in either Telegram or WhatsApp. If you're on WhatsApp, oh. post in the WhatsApp group where you are, and if in Telegram, post the answers in the Telegram because we have got another session in one minute time. So yes, I sir. suggest that. Uh, um, we, you can wind up due to time. We have got 60 seconds to start another session. Exactly. So let them post no, th their WhatsApp group. Okay, okay. So you have heard, just copy, then you post um, in whatever what, WhatsApp group you have. Then we'll do the marking just there, and then we'll come and concretize. So thank you very much for your attendance and uh, your patience, your participation. So we are, go and evangelize, go and tell your friends that uh, things are happening here so that tomorrow you should be able to join. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, dear students. You're students, welcome. Seems so happy. Um, you greet your parents. I hope you enjoyed the today's session. We will follow the timetable wherever we are not master. In conduction with Chinga province is bringing the lesson live to you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a pleasant day. Thank you. Thank you.